they're doing things that feel like magic. Yeah, I imagine that's how someone, when they first saw a film for the first time 100 years ago, were like, oh my God, that's magic. That's how I feel now. Then I heard about virtual reality. I was like, whoa, this is literally going to change the future of storytelling at its core. That's when I was very excited about Electric Sound. So what I would really, really love is opportunities to continuously see ways to interact with mentorship opportunities, also cross-cultural collaboration. The biggest surprise for me was the diversity of all the people participating, the other artists. But what we have in common is that we love art and I think we're all very curious to learn new ways of doing art. The location is amazing. The advisors are very amazing, like people from top of the line institutions and very knowledgeable people. I'm gonna take a lot of real practical knowledge that I can already like apply as soon as I leave. And I think that's sort of ready like uh, something that I haven't seen in a lot of other labs that I've done or workshops. Labs and workshops like this, this is where we need to be going as Africa. This is where we need to be going together as a people. They plant the seed for the new generation to come. I see myself seven years ago in, in these artists and for me it's invigorating, it's almost like I get renewed energy. Watch seeing all the fresh ideas and like the openness of all the possibility. We very much believe of the ethos of sharing knowledge, so everything we learn we share with others. Seeing that person, the switch in their head going off and suddenly seeing this <coughs> inspiration, that then gives us confidence and inspiration to learn something new. We're not a VR, AR company, we're an emerging media company and so whatever comes down the pipeline we can respond to. So I think that's one of the best things, it's like you never really know what's going to happen. But in this lab I think the thing that's been really interesting is like, I mean, people are wanting to do like AI projects, machine learning projects, and, um, and then everyone's like really into Depthkit and Unity and these kind of like um, more abstract ways of documenting reality. The biggest potential is that since it is a new medium, there are no rules to it yet. It was very encouraging for me as an African artist to be able to look at African VR films that are winning international film festivals because it is still a pretty open and the hierarchies haven't been fully set yet. Whoever is in the space right now are going to be the people who are going to basically decide and design the future. If I've succeeded, then if you're looking to create the best kind of like AR or VR content in the world, one of the first things that will come to mind is that you need to pick up the phone and call somebody in Nigeria or call somebody in Kenya. And that's when we'll really have done what we need to. We have the opportunity to sort of define how we want to create, how the rules, the, and you know, we can we essentially are designing the future. The potential and where it's different from old media in a way is that it hasn't been colonized in that sense. When you approach filmmaking, you have to think of all the great filmmakers that were before, the history of film, the history of film in Africa. And I feel like with this uh, media, and especially for Africa, we are the first in, in many other things as well. And I feel like this is the first time for me that I feel at home in a, in a movement.